Hi, everybody. It is Jamie at the Bead Gallery. Let us see if we are live together. I think we are. Mr. Danton, if you could just give it a sound check and play yours and see if you can hear me. So today is a bit of a special day. I have a project that I am doing for a new customer slash friend and we are going to be doing something kind of cool. Okay, what is it? So I'm a little bit, I would say nervous because I feel pretty confident in being able to come up with something that I like. Now it's just a matter if these other five women are gonna like it. So my name is Jamie, I'm at the Beat Gallery. I'll show you my sign. Today is design time. So what does that mean? There is a woman named Jamie who collects puka shells. So I'm going to show you some puka shells pretty soon. I'll talk about how, how nature makes them. And she is going to be hosting an event with her friends. And she wanted uh, she wanted to make some necklaces. So she sent me some photos. And I was like, all right, let us see what we can come up with. None of them bead and I was like, okay, it has to be doable. But then I thought, what if I do it? What if I can come up with something and invite them to the store? They get to be the designers for the day. They get to do something meaningful. And then I execute it. So I understand that when you're just starting out in beading, you want you need something to look at. It's really hard to be inspired by something that's just an idea in someone else's mind. So I thought I'd walk you through the process today. So if you are a beginning beater, let me know. If you're a beginning designer, let me know. And if there's any questions that you have about the process I'm showing you, please, please ask. I do have a monitor right here so I can see the questions and I'll do my best to answer. I'll show you some puka shells right now. I got my tools and some wire. Now the what I'm about to make is a prototype. So let me put my layout here is a prototype so I'm not going to be using the correct gauge of wire just yet as I kind of work out what what will be done so since let's talk about the criteria so if you're out there share with me where you're from okay if you can't hear if something goes wrong with the with the the audio or the video comment let me know and I will track what's going on over in Hawaii. It is the end of my day. We have 30 minutes till we go home. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use it wisely. So there's five ladies. That is the kanji, the Japanese character for people. And they've been friends. We have some, she sent me a photo and the puka shells that she's bringing are about the size of a dime. So then I picked out three large ones so we can get an idea of how to design with them. Now, I love the idea of the puka shell sitting front to back like this. So that when they're being worn, you can see them. I mean, one, one simple idea is just to string them side to side, right? But then I was like, oh, I don't know. It doesn't look as, as cute. So let me figure out how to do something small to big big to small, but I wanted to do something where there's an element of the friendship. So for me, like a figure eight, like this, is like a sign of eternity, of continuity, and I think that is pretty cool. So if we can somehow incorporate that with the pieces, and maybe they don't want three, you know? Because I mean, th working with things in the trifecta is always nice because you have the body, mind, spirit, the past, present, future, you know, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, the Trinity. There's always something in the set of three that I think is beautiful, but one is also quite lovely. But I think it just it just kind of depends because if we do something where the piece is larger with the chain going through it, we might be able to put one of the shells through it and maybe the other two here. That is kind of cool. I like that. You know, there's some, there's a lot of symbolism about something that's within something. Like, you know, your thoughts within your body. It's, like it's got to be really yin energy. And then you have the circle, you have the spiral, 
the spiral is based on like a Fibonacci sequence, which means that in nature, that the spiral is growing in increments that make it even. So that's that's pretty cool. The spiral in, in Hawaiian is ho'omaka, which means to begin again. And I also love that spiral symbolism. So if you guys have any ideas of how you'd like to see this turn out, let me know. So I'm just gonna start with like a little bit of some futzing around. What does that mean? I don't know, let's just see what happens. You can't tell what's gonna happen until you start, right? So I've got some wire. This is 20 gauge wire. Oh my gosh, I have a friend here. Freddie, come say hi because look, Freddie, I was gonna do something with shells. Oh, no, really? Yeah, and, and like of all, I have not done anything with shells <laughs> in so long. I have a customer, a soon to be customer, who mm -hmm. is getting together with five of her friends mm -hmm. and she's putting together shells for them. Mm -hmm. And she wanted me to try and come up with a project that they all could make and wear together. So I like the idea of the figure eight because mm -hmm. then it has like the friendship a circle that doesn't end and so i was like i just kind of popped on to youtube live to talk about like how we could construct something with it do you have do you have any ideas oh, well what were you gonna do well i was gonna make a figure eight first wait mm -hmm. i want to introduce you oh this is brenny brenny <laughs> is a mermaid and a flight attendant mermaid so she's in the sky and in the sea. What are you doing are now? You? Oh, um, I have a I have a week a week and a half off, and then I go back to flying. Oh, yes, what are you I know. I'm shopping for dad. So. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Christmas shopping. You guys, while Brenny is here, <laughs> Brenny has also made a poster of um shells. Oh yes, she is my cone shell specialty person. <laughs> I'll put that on our. I'll do. I'll, I'll put it on the our Instagram later. Brenny, I wanted a photo of you holding it, a oh, recent one. We have oh, to ask Jason. So, what did you get for your daddy? Oh, well, he's not watching. So yeah, <laughs> he's not watching. Oh, I got him mad. He's so cute. Yes, I got him mad, guys, because he got into fly tying. You know, for fishing the lures. Yeah, yeah. He makes his own flies. Oh. So I called Jason. I was like, Jason, do you have? Something. Yeah. So this is perfect for him. That is such a nice gift. Yeah. He's he's now he's not he's gonna appreciate it. Yeah. He really really will. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so okay. happy to see you. I know it was great to see you. I I'll leave it to your um. Come visit again I next know. time. Let's talk about shells. Let's go on YouTube oh, yeah. and show shells. I would love that. And don't forget to come by my house because I have yeah. the that jar from 1970 oh yeah 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 in my garage ready for you so you can give it to your dad <laughs> oh my god you know, okay yeah i'm 52 tomorrow you know oh yeah oh my god so that jar is my birth date on it it was like so i was just like oh it's so goodness. symbolic so i was thinking about you to come get the jar oh wow yeah and then poof i'm here you're here, here i shows. know i know <laughs> crazy the universe always keeps us together I'll see you soon. Okay, bye, Jamie. Bye, Brandy. It's like Mr. Rogers. I had a friend come visit. Okay, so this is a figure eight. Now, this wire is 20 gauge, so it is a little bit on the thin side. It's not something I would recommend that you use. Not right, not for this, because it's a little bit thin and it can just open up, as you can see. But as far as like a prototype model goes, it's a really good way to see if it's working. Okay. I want to attach a shell to the bottom and we can kind of see if that looks nice. Okay. How do we want to attach the shell? You know, it'd be cool if we can get two wires through the shell. So you can drill it. And if it doesn't fit, then we'll just use one. Okie dokie. So on the side of the shell, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to wrap it. And attach it. So this will be like a one drop sample. 
just to kind of see if we like it. And I think it'd be kind of cool if I make a spiral and the spiral sits in the shell. So again, these are just some prototypes. To see if we like it. Okay, and I'm gonna wrap it shut. This is 20 gauge colored wire, a really great wire to play with. And the nice part, if it turns out nice, I might be able to keep it. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Thanks for popping in, girl. It's always nice to bead with a friend. Okay. So I would do this in 16 gauge. But for a design concept, oh, it's kind of, I kind of like it. And then I could hook the chain through it on both sides. So that could be one. Okay. Now, another way we could approach this, ooh, let me get another piece of wire, would be tiny. Because what if you're like a tiny jewelry wearer? And you're like, I don't want it really, really big. Let's see. So we can do one loop. To do a little bit bigger size. We'll see if it's cute. Because I know some people, they really like tiny and petite. That could be cute. I do think, though, I am going to see if she wants them all to be having a figure eight type of symbol. That's cute. And then something bigger. Why not? Let's just go with that. I think I want to put a spiral though in the center of this. So that might that might look nice. I'm just gonna make I'm just going to make a spiral. Hello, Amy. So I see a question. What are you using over the wire? Um, I'm not sure. Over the wire, there is, it's a plated, like a colored coating, and it's called vintage bronze. Okay, just make that small. down. Oh, that's cute. Turn it so I'm going to see where gravity is pulling it. Bring it up. And then down and around. Somehow I have to get this under my spiral. Is that possible? Because it is recessed. I might not be able to. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I've never tried to do it in a recession. So you know what? I'm going to... Ah! I don't know if this is going to work. So I'm going to pull it away make my loop further out we'll see it may or may not work and i want to wrap it underneath this wire so this is an episode of will it work or won't it Not sure if I like it. We'll see. And then I want to tighten the wire on the back. So I'm going to grab it. I want to turn it. Okay. 
and turn it just a little bit more. Cook that through. And then we can have a tiny one to hang from a chain if you like it with, I don't think I like it with that spiral, honestly. I'm not super stoked about it. Let me see if I can tighten that up a little bit more. So one thing that's nice about doing these lives is hopefully you can learn something from it and be like, oh, I want to try that. Or no, that, that, that did not work for Jamie. Okay, so I twisted the wire. I took out the slack and that did. It did. It took out the slack and I do like it now. I'm going to press it down with my finger. And then this could be on the chain. So you can do a big one with a wire wrap. You can do a smaller one that has like a little spiral in the center. Then what happens if we want to add this? Like you want to wrap it again. Well, you got to get be able to get another piece of wire through here. So I will. You can drill it. And I don't have a drill close to me. So let's think. Let us think. Could wrap two. No. What would I do if I wanted to hang a second one on and the hole wasn't big enough? I don't know. But I'm always a believer. You should try. Don't give up, right? Just keep trying. We'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna attach this on here. It might be yucky. But you never know. Oh, I could hang chain from the back. Hmm. I'm just going to try something. I'm going to take the wire. Now, the easiest thing, <laughs> honestly, would be if you took the wire or the bead and you drilled a hole slightly bigger. Now, that's what I would do in real life if I wasn't doing this live. I would get off the live and go and drill that. But then there's always that challenge of, can you do something different? So then I would take this this one had a slightly bigger hole so yeah we can pull that through I wonder if I can have it come through one more time. No, the hole is too tiny. Oh. Okay, so in this situation, I would say you have to drill it. Oh, hang on. Maybe I can just make a little spiral and end it. So for every design that comes out good, I think in general, there's going to be 10 that don't. <laughs> Does anyone have a better average than that? I don't know, I've been meeting for 25 years now, and some days it's like jackpot. So if you wanted to have two hang down, this is how I got two to hang. But 
oh, it's kind of cool because they're just like little droplets on like a waterfall style. But I think I would rather have the hole be bigger and then the wires would crisscross. And then this can't flip up. Even though like with gravity, you're going to wear it and it's going to fall down. I don't like the idea like when you put it down that it could flip up and then you could see underneath it. Okay, so those are some of the ideas of working with this. I was also thinking we could get the shell inside the circle. Let's see. You shall see. Got my six step wrapping tab. I need a loop at the top. And a loop at the bottom. Hi, Clem. How are you? I think, I think that should fit inside that circle. If not, you can use a hoop mandrel, which I have underneath my desk. I'm making some prototype pieces. You can always also use the tool because it's a wrap and tap it's got like one plastic jaw to get your shape nicely you can press 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 in a circle and that will mold the wire this is 20 gauge and i was saying earlier that i recommend doing this once the prototype is done perhaps in a Eight, 16, 16 or 14. But when I do the actual class day, I'll give them an option like, what, what color metal do they like? Gold fill, stainless silver. It's gonna be cute. So if you wanna make a hoop, here it is. So Clem, since you're just joining, I'm just doing some off the cuff, will it work or won't it projects for a class that I'm doing on, not really a class, it's like a deep get together for these ladies. That will have puka shells. And see how I'm rounding it out again. Okay, so if we can fit something in there. Kelly says the shell is too large in proportion to the smaller infinity. Very true, it is. So if they have smaller shells when they come on Saturday, then we can show them this and then we can put a tiny one next to it. I think it'd be so cute for a dainty necklace. Actually, I would want this really, really tiny. Can you make the infinitely larger so the shell can hang in the middle of the bottom circle? In the middle of the bottom circle. Can you make the infinity larger so... Yes, you definitely can. That is, that is totally an option. So this was done on the bottom of my large rack and tap, this big one. So anything bigger then moves to the hoop mandrel. So the hoop mandrel has like, um, it can go up to like this big, which is super cool. Okay, let's see. I don't know what kind of shell sizes they're gonna pick. So I hope, well, I'll be, I'll, I'll be able to like custom it at that point. So that would be cool. I don't know, if I put this in the center, I don't have a place to hang it anymore because I did a wrap right here. So that's not gonna work. I'll get another piece of wire and see. Okay, what time is it? 5.53, okay. I said I would give about 30 minutes into creating some prototype samples. Would be cute with buttons. Yes, it would. So again, please do not do this in 20 gauge wire. <laughs> it's a little too soft, little too soft. 
So I will be doing this on Saturday. Oh, I'll take pictures and I'll show you guys in, I'll do it in 14 or 16, probably 14. I like it a little bit more sturdy. But if you guys have any ideas or things you want to see, let me know. So Miss Kelly, I will see how this will work. I want to hang it. Okay, close that. I need a jump ring. So the jump ring will have to span the distance of the shell. So I think it's going to be on this one. And again, this jump ring will probably be done in maybe 16 or 14 gauge. And I could take it and twist it this way and just pop a chain. It's a little hard to tell laying it flat because the shell has a rounded back. But we could do something like that. Let me make a ring for this one. It was a little piece of wire, so I'll just use the rest of it. Ooh, will it work for this sample? Yay! No, just enough. And again, the, the, the the proportions are not correct. These are prototypes, but it's good to build a prototype so you can see if you like the way it looks. Oh, I kind of like this one with it going around the shell. That's cute. All right. Then. Something like this. I do like the two chain approach too, where instead of sliding it onto the chain, you put it on two pieces of chain. I'll just give you the basic idea. This is not what it would look like. But then the two chains hold it from left to right, and then it separates out. So then this piece stays flat. So that is something. So if her Puka shells have too small a hole, and we want to put two things into it. Let me see if I can do a quick prototype with something that has a big hole. So a big hole would be like where I can get two pieces of wire in there and wrap it. Let me try to show you because I think that's cute too. Two pieces in here. I'm testing it off screen. Yes, I can get two pieces in here. So then I will wrap it like this. And we do have to, oh, I have two more minutes. Okay. I gave myself 30 minutes because at six o'clock everybody has to go home. And I don't want to keep everybody here while I'm doing my project. Mm, which way should I make my loop? I'll make my loop. This way. And you don't have to do wire wraps. You can do this with just simple basic loops as well. Since my wire is soft, I was like, I'll give it a shot. 
and this is what I meant by two wires, I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to pop it in there. You could also do this with like thread. And if you didn't want to wrap this wire the way I did, you can wrap it tighter, you just make a tighter sample on this side. You can also put a bead on the wire. Tight, you can put a bead. Let me know if you have questions. Can drill the hole bigger. Okay. So then this link. And come down with this piece if you wanted to, or you could have wrapped it into the next shell. So in that opening, you could have made a big loop, and then that would have been hanging in there. That's kind of cool too. So you can make links with it as well. Oh, okay. Lots of ideas. I hope she likes some of them. We shall see. Just a few of what we can do. At the very least, if we don't want to do the figure eight, well, I mean, we can, but we can also hang, can also hang a charm from the bottom. So what do I mean by a charm? Okay, I'm just going to hang some random thing I have here. So here is a design element of putting something at the bottom. Okay, so not necessarily this again. <laughs> I don't want you guys to be like, oh, what's wrong with her design um, taste? <laughs> this is just ideas on how to put different components together. Okay, that is it for now. I'll take some pictures when we actually do it on Saturday. And I will say thank you for thank you for hanging out with me because a lot of times I it it's really really helpful when there's other people hanging around. I don't know if you try to bead alone. I bead alone quite a bit, but you know with having closed our store and just reopening it recently I find that I really, really missed the input, the energy of just chit-chatting with people in person. Man, I cannot wait for the day that we can do a retreat in Hawaii and you all can come down and join us and we can be together. Okay, that's going to be fun. I'm going to sign off now and see you guys later. Ahui ho! Try that again. Bye-bye.